Hey everyone. Okay, so this video is in response to some of the questions that I've gotten about my sources of dog chain. Um, like this one that I used to make Toby's toys with. And so in a previous video I said that you can find them at dollar stores, and you can. And the question was about whether because they're cheaper, are they stainless steel or are they zinc plated? Um, so what I've done here is put together um, a bunch of different metals that I have and just to compare with what the different platings are and later I'm going to show you guys some tests that I did that you can do at home if you want to to test for zinc in the metals that you use with your bird toys. So, um, there's a few ways you can test for regular steel, and that of course is to use a magnet. And this is just a regular super strong magnet that I got at Radio Shack, probably about $2.99. So, it is pretty strong. And the funny thing is that um, there's a little bit of a pull on our granite countertop, so I thought that was kind of funny. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, the, this is regular steel underneath, and it has quite a bit of a pull to it. And so, I have some galvanized steel here, which you can see that will pick up quite a bit. And this is galvanized steel chain. Um, and that's why I have such a variety of metals because I also make chain um, and aluminum, which of course isn't going to do anything. But in the acid test, I do include the aluminum just to see what it does because I've never seen it. Um, let's see what else we have here. Okay, we have a washer here that I think is yellow zinc and just based on my research that I found online. And the way you can differentiate it is that it has this kind of yellowish rainbow tint. I don't know if you can even see this, but it's got a little bit of pink and green and yellow in there. Um, the problem is that I believe what was it's a yellow cadmium plate that will also have a similar effect. But you shouldn't be running into cadmium plate too often because that the majority of of things used with that is for automotive parts. Um, okay, what else? All right, so stainless steel. You'll find that some folks out there will say that it has no magnetic properties. That's not entirely true. It does have some. It's just incredibly weak. So I don't know if it. Yeah, it can't even see it. Um, but this one you can tell it has a little bit of a pull. It, has, it comes off a little slower. Um, so those are two different grades of stainless steel. And for the life of me, I can't remember anymore what the differences are other than it's lower or higher grade. Um, this is surgical stainless. And as you can see, it has pretty much no pull whatsoever. And just so you, you guys don't think that I'm kidding with you here, this is galvanized steel wire of a similar gauge as my surgical steel. And you can see that it does definitely pull over with the magnet. And um, you have some options of non-ferrous materials like copper and brass. And here's a piece of copper, and you know, of course, no conductivity there, brass. And by the way, these are bullet casings. I do not use these for bird toys. Um, there are also lookalikes. This looks like brass. It is brass plate. This is also brass plate even though it looks all fancy and antique, it is not actual brass. And this, yes, it looks like copper. 
it, which is copper plated steel. Um, what else do I have? The zinc plate versus the galvanized steel. Um, both of these are just different forms of applying zinc to the metal. Um, the galvanized, more often than not, or I think in most cases, is hot dipped, so produce a texture. For the plated steel, it's electroplated, so you get that shiny finish. And you'll also find a similar shiny finish on chrome plate, but I don't think I've seen anyone bother to do that for hardware. Um, another common uh, finish that you'll find on things at the hardware store is called bright. And this nail is bright. And all that means is it has absolutely no finish at all and it will rust. So you can kind of see that it's a little warmer color than the zinc. I'm trying to grab at a reflection. Um, than zinc coated metal. And another way to tell the zinc plate is if you go into the hardware store and look at the sections where they have um, bins of screwdriver, uh, with screws and nails just loose, um, you'll see that they are kind of this really pale blue-gray, and it's a very distinct color. It's not as obvious here with just one piece, but when you see all of them together, they'll stand out. Um, and a response in another oops, response from another comment said that the copper bell in on the toy that I make might be okay. Well, you think it's copper? Yes, again. And um, looks like Toby forgot a banana. Um, so uh, this is kind of what he usually leaves his toys at, and I fill his toys all the way up to the top. So for this, um, I'm thinking this might be chrome, could be cadmium, um, but like I said, it it's not common to run into cadmium plate. Though if you search around online, there is an article about uh, Walmart controversy where it did wind up in some kids' jewelry. Um, so that's not guaranteed that you won't run into it. And I still don't know what it, this is after the test, but I think it does have some some zinc, but not a lot. And I think I have covered all my different metals that I have here. Um, so if you guys want to head on over to the next video, um, what I will be doing is showing you the acid test that I, you can use to find out what is in, well, it, whether or not you have zinc in your metal or not. So what you will need, if you want to do this as well, is some glass test tubes. Um, don't ask me where to find these, I picked these up for free and while I was still at school. Um, you want a pipette or a glass eyedropper. Um, again, I don't know where I got those either, so I'm not very much help to you there. You'll need a glass container to hold your acid, and I will cover more on that in the next video. You will also want safety glasses or goggles if you wear glasses already. And gloves. Gloves are important. You'll see that in the next video. I don't wear gloves, but I don't get along with gloves because of these. So, I guess that is it. <laughs>